To start school in Nebraska, you have to be vaccinated against nine diseases, including chickenpox, polio, measles, and hepatitis B. And laws requiring immunization to start public or private school are nothing new in the Cornhusker state. They've been around since the 1970s. It's not uncommon for vaccines to be required in a variety of different settings. When starting school, exemptions can be made for medical or religious purposes, but only when they're certified by medical or legal professionals. If you haven't gotten your immunization for mumps and there's a there's a case of mumps, um, the school can say, go to all the all the kids who, who have opted out of those immunizations and say, until the health department tells us this is not a risk, we can't let you come to school anymore. But teachers and other school staff are not called on to present their vaccination status when they're hired. KTV News Watch 7 reached out to Metro school districts, learning that no vaccines are required for employment at Omaha, Millard, Elkhorn, Westside, Papillion, La Vista, Ralston, Gretna, or Council Bluffs public schools. As an educator, we our primary thing is to take care of kids, our primary goal. And so one of the ways that we can take care of our kiddos is to make sure we are vaccinated. Paul Schulte teaches kindergarten in Millard. He says his district makes it easy to get routine vaccines like the flu shot. Flu shots are always available through the district, through our health insurance. And so I definitely take advantage of the flu shot every year. School is one of the first places most of us have to show proof of vaccination. By adulthood, we might assume that the people around us have their basic shots, but certain jobs require certain jabs. At the Omaha Police Department, COVID and flu shots are voluntary, but a tetanus shot is required because of dangers posed in the field. The Omaha Fire Department asks for vaccination records during a pre-employment period. If someone's missing a shot, they can get inoculated or sign a waiver saying they're denying the vaccine. From our point of view, protecting the health and safety of Nebraskans is forefront. If there's one industry where vaccines are an everyday part of the job, it's health care. But do the people who give us our shots have to be vaccinated themselves? In the case of the, the health professions, our best bet is to just make sure that we all all of us that can be vaccinated are vaccinated and that the public can know this is just standard practice that when they go and seek health in a healthcare setting that they're protected. Echo Kohler is the vice president of the Nebraska Nurses Association. She's also an assistant professor at Creighton's College of Nursing. All health profession students are expected to have not only a COVID-19 vaccine, but other vaccines to protect the public that they serve. It's responsibility. We have an ethical duty to protect those that we serve. That's why we're in this field. We're in this field to care for others and protect the public. At CHI and Methodist, staff are required to have the vaccines recommended by the CDC for health care workers. And when exemptions are granted, employees must take special precautions to keep people safe. I really do believe that everyone wants to protect our grandmas and our grandpas and our loved ones. And so, you know, how can we get that message across where it's just it's just about truly caring for people. It's not it's not about the politics of it. Giving the public a better shot at living long, no healthy lives. Joey Safchik, KETV, Newswatch 7.